Hey guys, what's up? I know I haven't sat in this spot for so long and filmed a video, so welcome back. So today is a little bit of a random favorites video. It's not really like an, the end of an, a month or something, so this is just a video showing you my favorite products as of right now. The first item I am going to start with is a makeup product and this is a Maybelline Colossal Volume Express Waterproof Cat Eyes uh, Mascara and this is actually a really good mascara. It holds the curl of my lashes really well and it lasts a really long time because it's waterproof. A lot of mascaras tend to make my eyelashes really droopy and so they just look like they stick straight out, which is not a great look. The problem with this though, it's Maybelline actually um, tests on animals, which is really bad, so I probably won't be purchasing this, so I'll try to find a mascara that does the same job as this. So the next product I really like is the e.l.f. Um, eyebrow kit and I got this in medium. Um, so yeah, I use this to do my eyebrows now. Um, I used to use like an eyebrow pencil but then that pencil like ran out and I didn't really like repurchase or anything. So I just um, continued using my e.l.f. kit and the really cool thing about it is that um, it has like a gel thing like a geller, gelier type of substance and then a powdery type of substance. I meant product. So it also comes with a brush with like a flat edge um, tip and then a fluffier end. I haven't found a better brush so I'm just using that in the package. So the next product uh, is my favorite dry shampoo. It's from Tresemme. And I really like this because it's much cheaper than the Batiste ones and I think it does the same thing. Maybe the Batiste is like a little bit more like powerful at soaking up oils but I really like this one. No complaints. It also smells really good. Like I love the smell of all the Tresemme products because they all smell like a salon and all hair salons smell really nice. So. Scent is everything, pretty much. So next, I actually have two face masks from Lush, and this one is the BB Seaweed, and this one is Don't Look at Me. Um, I really couldn't choose like, <laughs> what? Okay, I really couldn't choose which one was more of a favorite for me. That I actually mentioned Don't Look at Me before in a previous video, so I'll try to link that. But anyways, BBC would I actually also talked about in a vlog, so if you want to watch that as well, I will also link that vlog. Anyways, BBC Weed is really great. I I like it. I personally like it. Um, the only problem though, like I feel like people might not like it for, is that it kind of smells a little funky. Not too bad. Not like the... There was one that was real bad, like the cosmetic water, because that had like garlic in it, so... Yeah. Um, this one is just like seaweed, so I don't think it would smell too bad. Um, I didn't think it smelled bad. I think it kind of smelled a little good, but I don't know. This also had like ch seaweed chunks in it, so um, if you don't like chunky masks, <laughs> uh, um, then this is, is this one is not for you. Face masks are more of like. You know, I'm doing something to my face to keep it like acne free and stuff, but whether or not like or how much they actually work, I have no idea. Like, I don't know if there's actual like good way to test that out. So, oh well. <laughs> Next, I have a clothing item, and it is actually this bralette. Um, I got this bralette from Wet Seal, actually, not like a fancy bra store. And this was like, this was really cheap because there's also some kind of deal with like a buy and get one 50% off or something. And like the original price was only like $10 or something. So yeah, this was a really good buy because um, I wear it all the time. I also have another bralette that I'm wearing right now and it's from Armored Outfitters. And that one's like $20. Ugh. But yeah, this one is super cheap, you know, the quality I would say like it's not the best, but maybe like other expensive 
uh, more expensive wallets will also have the same quality. So actually I have another favorite clothing item which is I know kind of unconventional because people don't usually do clothing favorites but you know it's a favorite so. And the favorite are these pants which are nice and flowy. So these I think people call them like temple pants or something because I know that when you go to like um, temples um, in like Thailand and stuff you have to wear like these pants okay or you have to like wear pants so people choose to buy these flowy pants and yeah they're just really like comfortable and soft and they're really breezy I've been actually wearing this a lot at home rather than outside but you know what it's totally fine these are from H&M I have like two food favorites that I'm going to tell you about now. I've discovered mochi ice cream, which like I should have discovered a long time, a long time ago because I know a Megan Hughes on YouTube. Um, she like recommends all the time. She always like vlogs about them and like, how they're really good. And so I bought the ones that she has from Trader Joe's. And yeah, you can find these really easily. They come in like strawberry, chocolate green tea and mango. However, since, um, I don't know if you guys know or not, I'm very, 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 very sweet transitioning to, like, being vegan. And so, I found these, this brand is called Mochi Mochi. However, this brand I have to buy from, like, a special Asian supermarket that I only know of that in exists in Canada, and it's called TNT. If you live somewhere with TNT, you can probably find this there, which is really great because this is actually made from coconut milk and it's gluten free and it's non-dairy so that wraps up my favorites video for this month or not this month like just this random favorites video and you know what I always say give this video a thumbs up subscribe and yeah I make videos every single Monday so if you are subscribed to me I will see you guys next Monday bye guys hey guys so Tiki and I are heading to a um, a vegan slash vegetarian expo. Yeah, I'm super excited. We're at Canada Place.